Hello everybody. In today's video, I show you how you can log in to a SAP system without entering a password. We use the file sapshcut.exe for this purpose. Where we can find this file and which parameters we can pass here, I will show you now. We already have installed the sub logon, right mouse click and properties, and then we see the path where the program is installed. We copy this path, then we open a, a window, a command prompt, and here we change the directory to this path, then we press enter, and then we type dir sap star and then we see only the files who starts with sap and this file we need today sap sh cut and how to know which parameters we can pass here we type sap sh cut minus question mark and then we see here a window with the different parameters parameters for the startup uh, parameters for the log on the user identification then the system identification and some uh, function identification for example to call some transactions or to run some reports so and how to do this? We need a batch file. So right mouse click new, but, but first I want to check if you see the extensions of your files in the Windows Explorer. This is important. So for example, XLSX for Excel. If you don't see the extensions, click on view, then on the icon options, then on view again and uncheck the checkbox hide extensions for known file types then press ok and after that you should see the extensions of your files so now let's create a new file i choose the text document here and then mark all and I name the file like the name of my SAP system, ABAP752. And the extension here, dot BAT for batch. Then press enter. Then we get the message about the renaming. Click on yes. And we see the icon is changed now a batch file then we click right mouse click and i open it with a normal text editor and this is the empty batch file and here we write some commands start then the file name sap sh cut Next, the name of the system, system, and we see the system in the sub on in the folder connections. We see the name of the system, then the SID, IP, instance number, and so on. And we need the system, the SID here. So I type here NPL. Next, we need the client and we find the client if we double click here on the system this is the first the first input field in my case the client is one so i type here is zero zero one next we need the username on my test system the user is developer and next the password and the password is download. The L is the number one. And 
And that is the reason why I do not recommend this at all. Why? The password is stored here in plain text. And this is of course a big security issue. But I'll show you how this can work. Next, we can pass the language. Language is EN for English. And let's save the batch file. And now let's do a double click. And the system should open. Okay, there's a security question. I allow this. And here we see the system is started. We have a SAP window here without entering the password. So let's close this window. And next I show you how to call a specific uh, transaction. So in this case, I want to open the transaction SE80, the developer environment, the ABAP objects. For this I type command is the transaction SE80 and next the type and the type is transaction. Then we click on save. And we open the batch file again. We run the batch file again. And now we see the window is opened. And here is the object navigator, the transaction, SE80. And I can also run programs with the batch files. For example, let's start the program set subversion. So I close this and then I delete all after the command string. And the command is now the name of my program. Set subversion and the type is now report. Then save and double click again. And now we see the program is directly called after the double click on the batch file. And we see here the content of my program. Yes, um, next step is to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments. I would be very happy about that. Thank you very much and until the next video.